Hey Browns fans, Nathan Zagur here with another position review edition of the Two Minute Drill brought to you by University Hospitals. And today we're going to look at the running backs and that's Nick Chubb's room. Nick Chubb going to four straight Pro Bowls. He is coming off of a career high. 1,525 yards rushing, making him only the second Brown ever to eclipse 1,500 yards, putting him in that rarefied air with the great Jim Brown. Chubb also had 12 rushing touchdowns in 2022, tying his career high. So a banner year for him once again, as I mentioned, four straight Pro Bowls and oh so deserving. But the rest of the room could undergo some changes. It's been Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt for so long, but Hunt injured often in 2021, had a down year in 2022. Just 468 yards rushing, three touchdowns. He added 210 receiving yards and another score. He is an unrestricted free agent. I think he is looking for an opportunity to be a starter in this league as well. Joining him also as an unrestricted free agent is Dearness Johnson. While Dearness Johnson wasn't heavily involved last year as a runner. He was a core special teams player. And you go back two years ago, though, in 2021, Johnson filled in great for the Browns. Had over 500 yards rushing, averaged over five yards a carry. And who can forget on that Thursday night when he was the FedEx ground player of the week, running for more than 140 yards in the Browns' big win over the Denver Broncos. So he and Hunt unrestricted free agents. So who do we know will be back? Well, Nick Chubb, we mentioned that. He's the star. He's the bell cow. He's the main man. And then Jerome Ford, the Browns drafted last year year out of Cincinnati, the fifth rounder. He showed a lot in the preseason as a runner and a receiver out of the backfield. But when you got Nick Chubb and you got Kareem Hunt and you got Dearness Johnson, you don't need to see Jerome Ford at running back. And so he was limited to just a few carries at the end of the year. He had 12 yards, but he really flashed as a kick returner. I think if Kareem Hunt is not back, it's likely that Jerome Ford goes into this year as the backup running back to Nick Chubb or will compete with that perhaps if Dearness Johnson is back for that role. So those are the guys we know. And then there's Demetri Felton, who is listed as a running back on the roster, but as we know, more of a receiver. And really, after a promising rookie season, which we saw him catch two touchdown passes, really took a back seat last year. And I think his future is uncertain with the Cleveland Browns. He's going to have to earn his way onto this roster through special teams. But right now in the running back room, it's most likely to be Nick Chubb. You've got Jerome Ford. Maybe Johnson's back. Maybe Hunt's back. Or maybe they add somebody into that room, again, via the draft or in free agency. But look for Nick Chubb. You know what he's going to do, and you hope that with Deshaun Watson, the full season, it even opens things up for him more here in 2023. Also on the roster, I should note John Kelly, who's been in the Browns organization for a few years on the practice squad, as well as Nate McCrary. So that's a look at the running back room. You know your superstar, Nick Chubb. You think you have an ascending young talent there in Jerome Ford. How the rest of it shakes out? Well, we're going to have to wait and see. This has been another position review edition of the Two Minute Drill brought to you by University Hospitals.